but if you were going to pass it to your friend, good etiquette with the hookah, you're never actually supposed to put the hose on the ground. You're never actually supposed to hand it to the person. You're supposed to put it up here, and then whoever's sitting with you, if they so wish, they just go ahead and grab the hose, and they smoke it if they wish. He uses his own uh, hookah mouthpiece. So it's a very social atmosphere, very social thing to be smoking with all of your friends, uh, relaxing. What's up guys, the true hookah king. And Kristen's Street Escape. And she's gonna try hookah for her first time. Hugo was the very first thing I ever smoked, and I remember it was with my friend from Israel, my best friend from Israel, and uh, I remember being really nervous about just like smoking anything, and he just like looked at me with the most serious face, and he was like, David, in Israel, grandmother smokes. <laughs> <laughs> How bad can it be? The Hoka Revolution. Hoka is a part of our life in Egypt. Long time ago, four years ago, Hoka was spoken by the old people only. Because it was only the typical tobacco, uh, oh, just one flavor, the, yeah, the original one. Lately, ten years ago, they made the uh, around oh. 15 to 20 different flavors, oh. which is grab all the young guys, young girls. Have a beautiful smell. What do you think of the smell so far? It's like secondhand smoke from it. Um, it actually smells pretty good. It's sweet, like this, from the tin. I don't know. It smells really sweet. Try it. That's weird. Huh. You like Ooh. it? Yeah. It's like inhaling air though. We are the island. We want to get the it's better than the cigarettes because you can enjoy 15, 20 flavor and you, you feel the atmosphere. Second is very cheap because you can pack of cigarettes right now is 11, 12 dollars. Uh, you can buy a, a packet of tobacco, shisha, whatever your flavor you want, apple, apricot, strawberry, different flavor. Hey, in our culture, we gather all the friends together, like a social gathering, you know? It's a time where we can sit down and talk among ourselves, you know, just have a conversation. And, um, probably not the healthiest thing in the world, but it definitely relieves a lot of stress, hasn't it? So hookah is a more of an American term. Um, anywhere else outside of the United States, it's called shisha. So I'm from Hong Kong, and you know shisha is really big there. So that's why I'm getting used to saying hookah. But pretty much around the world, it's, it's shisha. Now, guys, we had a debate over what the real word for hookah is: shisha, nagila. The real word is hubbly bubbly. I would say <laughs> it's an ancient Persian term. It depends on country. <laughs> it's it's yeah. regional. We're, we smoked in Israel, so it's Nargila. But and the tobacco is shisha. The tobacco is shisha. But like we're in Israel, it's tabak. 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 Um like for some reason I've always called the instrument itself a hookah and the tobacco nargila, which is completely wrong no matter where you go. We all, we all learned it that way, but it's actually wrong. Right. We are all like the the device itself is a nargila in Hebrew. And then tobacco. Yeah.
It's almost a stereotype of the guy who's like on the beach or at a coffee shop or whatever, but he sits there and it's his all to himself and he's just puffing away all day no matter what with like a little finger coffee. Or and his and voice flavored, sounds like this. His <laughs> voice sounds like this all the time. And it's flavored double apple. Always. Always double apple. And also he usually has a companion who also has his own hookah and they just play backgammon. <laughs> <laughs> so I come to this place because um, I feel like here the hookah is really about the community. It's much, much less expensive than if you go downtown in Manhattan. There it's more of a profitable business, but here it's really just a part of the lifestyle. It's really just completing what it is like to be part of the Middle Eastern community in New York or in Queens. Long trip, so I'm really tired. But I hear you. I mean, 12 hours from Hawaii, right? Yeah. Hookah. Um, so do you get to smoke smoke much hookah when you're in Hawaii? No, I never smoke in Hawaii. I just like to come here and do it. It's like really relaxing. Do you want to see a smoke square? Sure. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a dragon puff? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you want me to show you how you do it? Sure. <laughs> so, big hit, basically. <clears throat> All right.